Breaking news for all Blacks fans, NZ Rugby evaluates foreign player policy. Hello, all Blacks enthusiasts. Today, we have some exclusive insights into the recent developments at New Zealand Rugby, NZR, that might reshape the future of our beloved All Blacks. In a recent revelation, Mark Robinson, the CEO of NZR, made it clear that the governing body will not reconsider its policy preventing the All Blacks from selecting foreign players. According to current NZR regulations, players plying their trade overseas are ineligible for international selection to represent the All Blacks. This issue gained prominence when Scott Robertson, the newly appointed head coach of the All Blacks in April, expressed his openness to selecting players based abroad. Surprisingly absent from agenda. However, Robinson disclosed that this matter wasn't even on the agenda during the last NZR board meeting in 2023 held on Wednesday. This was not discussed, stated Robinson to Reuters. We are certainly not surprised that, after a World Cup year with several players leaving, this kind of thing comes up. We are very clear in our protocols, and we believe they have been a critical part of the All Blacks' success for a long time. But we also recognize that the world is changing, and from time to time, these discussions need to happen. Experienced All Blacks heading overseas Several seasoned All Blacks have left New Zealand to pursue lucrative offers from foreign clubs following the recent World Cup defeat to the Springboks in France. Among those players, Imoanga, who signed a multi-year contract to play for a Japanese club, is now ineligible for test selection at the age of 29. Box Shift in Selection Policy It's worth noting that South Africa changed its selection policy in 2018 anywhere in the world to be eligible for selection. Since then, the Springboks secured consecutive World Cup titles in Japan four years ago and, most recently, in France. Australia also restricts the selection of players based overseas, with coaches Eddie Jones and Dave Rennie allowed to pick only three foreign-based players during a series or tournament. As the world of rugby evolves, so does the conversation around selection policies. Stay tuned for more updates on this intriguing development that could impact the future composition of our all-black squad. Remember to hit that subscribe button to stay in the loop with the latest All Blacks news. Until next time, keep the black flag flying high.